began tonight with a Knoxville mother being forgiven for a mistake she made decades ago. Many of us first met Zenobia Dobson following the 2015 shooting death of her son Xavion. The Fulton High School student and football player was shot while shielding friends from gunfire. Since then, Zenobia has become an advocate against violence, starting here in Knoxville, but eventually spreading her message across the country and around the globe. Now, Zavion's story even made it to the 2016 ESPYs, where he was posthumously awarded for his bravery. But it was Zenobia's work in the community following Zavion's death that played a role in earning her a pardon from Governor Bill Lee earlier today. Six on your side reporter Jordan Brown talked with Zenobia tonight. And Jordan, kind of walk us through what led up to today's announcement by the governor. Yeah, Bo, her difficult past started even before Zavion's death. When he was just a baby, she found herself on the wrong side of the law, facing jail time for shoplifting. Now, I went to jail for a minute. I did. It wasn't long, but they held me until it was time to go to a halfway house, which was a recovery center for women. Everybody has a past, but it's what you do in the future that counts. I just celebrated my sobriety of 21 years clean of substance abuse. Two decades ago, Zenobia Dobson's life seemed to be headed in the wrong direction. She was battling a drug addiction and was convicted of shoplifting. But she says her time behind bars changed her forever. And after that, my life began to change and I molded me into the woman that I am today. And it does not define me. I define who I am. The first step of true change is wanting it. But a little incentive doesn't hurt either. Zenobia says her son, Xavion, who was just a baby at the time, was all the motivation she needed. I was in court. I faced the judge. And she was like, Zenobia, I'm going to give you a chance. And I'm, I'm really thinking about, you know, your baby and your kids. And I was just like, well, you know, hey, just, just let me go. Just let me go home. And she wasn't having it. She wasn't doing that. She was just like, I see your potential. And I want you to, you know, just be a mother and go home to your children. Zenobia served her time, and she did eventually go home, raising three strong boys. But what she didn't know was that the son she credits for saving her life as a baby would die as a teen, saving the lives of three of his friends. Xavier saved my life first. I know he did. And when I heard the news that night about his death, I understood it to the fullest. Even after a life event that should have sent her into a downward spiral, she stayed clean and out of trouble, channeling her pain into advocacy work in her community. It's what led to the unexpected phone call she received Thursday afternoon. I heard my phone ring and I was like, that's my phone. So I ran to the back and I saw where it was like a private number. And I was like, I wonder who this is. And I picked it up and it was Governor Lee. A pardon from the governor serves as a fresh start and more chances to make her guardian angel proud. I just want to continue to advocate and to continue to be a mother to my sons a grandmother to my grandson and continue to bless the youth in my community. Now, Zenobia is one of 17 people Governor Lee granted clemency to today. She says this is the beginning of a new chapter for her, and she plans to make the most of it. Bo? All right, Jordan, thank you. And we are told a number of area politicians also advocated for Zenobia's pardon today. One of them, Tennessee State Representative Sam McKenzie. I wrote a letter on her behalf. I met with the general counsel. I met with uh, several of, of, of the governor's special assistants just to, to just to put, you know, a, a, a human aspects to uh, aspect to it. it I, I'm sure he gets all kinds of letters from from the uh, from the boards and, and from you know uh, the offenders themselves. But you know, just to really say, no, this person is is one that you should strongly consider. And, and the work that she's done just to lay it all out there. Like I said, her, her application, uh, it, it reads for itself because of, of the work that she's done.